Welcome uh, to this special session where we're going to talk about our strategy regarding cloud development ecosystem and what I'll refer to as really reimagining the ANSYS experience. Uh, thanks for joining us. You'll get to hear from some of our key speakers from uh, AWS and Microsoft, along with our recently announced acquisition, uh, the CEO president of OnScale. What do I mean when I say let's reimagine the ANSYS experience? Over the last year, we've taken time to look at how do we move forward in a very coherent, strategic way so that we can build a better solution for our customers. And what you'll see here are four, and, and maybe if you call the platform a fifth vector, to really bring all of these pieces together. Whether that's the look and feel that you see, which comes out of our discovery product line, and we will build across our products in the future, or whether you see that's collaboration, as we've all been you know, working remotely um, why can't we collaborate within the products themselves as opposed to having to do everything over Teams or Zooms, you know, real-time help, real-time chat, and so forth. That's enabled from the cloud, and you see ZaaS there, X-A-A-S, and that's anything as a service. So whether that's software as a service, infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, you know, make up your own acronym, but it's really about that enabling technology such that we can help our customers be more efficient and effective. And finally, we key off that with our ecosystem, and we're really looking at building out a Python ecosystem such that existing customers become more efficient. They can automate. And in the longer term, we can take our solver technologies and we can build vertical applications. Think of us as an app store uh, for simulation in the longer term. As we build this into the you know, truly native cloud infrastructure that is before us, what we can do then is take that data and we can learn from it. So now we'll take AI and ML, and we can do predictions, for instance, how long is a simulation gonna take? That's a really good thing that our customer base would really like. So we are and have been for some time now looking at ANSYS and really looking at how we go forth into the next generation of product design and reimagining that customer experience while keeping the flagship products available to our existing customer base. So let me, Go ahead and show you a little bit about this. I'm going to talk about SCADE 1, which is a technology preview of a product that's coming out later this year. And what you'll see here is we've taken the traditional SCADE that's used for embedded software, and we have redeployed it within this user interface, user experience that I was talking about. You'll see, as we look towards the future, what we want is to really take our best, most intuitive experience and make it holistic across the portfolio of products that ANSYS has. That way, when you want to do CAD or whether you want to do embedded software, the commands, the locations, getting to HPC is all in the same type of area so that it's much easier to use. So if you're a mechanical engineer and one day you need to do thermal analysis and the next day you need to do structural analysis, you don't need to learn new environments. They have this consistency. Same thing as an electrical engineer that, for instance, might want to look at uh, electro, electro, uh, electronics cooling or electronics uh, thermal design. So it really does change how we go forward uh, as we build this out. And SCADE 1 is our first instance of being able to do this within our new uh, overall experience based off of ANSYS discovery. So really, this came out, um, our CTO had talked back in November um, about this concept in this slide. And what you see here is what we refer to as our foundations for future growth. So we have a really strong core physics portfolio and product, uh, as we're all aware. Um, However, as we look at modernizing and we look at how we get that into the hands of our customers and expand into new customers, you'll see that we built from this foundation, this PyAnsys ecosystem, Ansys Cloud, the ability, as I talked about, building solutions and applications within an Ansys experience. And while we're doing all of that, it allows us to take our advanced physics capabilities and learn from them with uh, AI and ML. So really changing how we go forward. Now, you may think that this is all brand new, but this really did start last year. We just have been kind of quiet about what we've said to this point in time. So if we go to the next slide, you'll see Piancis. And there's been several articles going back to October um, about this rollout. You know, So today, for instance, you can get to the MAPDL solver. You can get to the electromagnetic solver. We're working on Pi Fluent and Pi Discovery. You know, what we are working here is to create an ecosystem of consistent API calls to all our different solver technologies and then enable them in the cloud. Um, this is going to really change the way our customers interact with us because it will make you more focused and allow you to essentially solve 
different types of problems much more easily. And it's really exciting. We've seen a great uptick. And so you can look forward to future hackathons to where we train our customer base on this. Uh, I'll let Jane go into more details on that later. So with that, I want to turn it over to Jane Treneman. Um, Jane is our uh, Senior Director of Cloud and Portfolio. Um, and she's going to go into a little bit more detail about some of the pieces and parts that I brought forth. Hello, my name is Jane Treneman. I joined ANSYS around a year ago via an acquisition, but of almost 30 years in the engineering simulation industry. And I'm very excited to be part of the ANSYS team, especially now as we are working to redefine the engineering simulation paradigm. There's an open challenge that faces engineering simulation. It's not a new question, but it remains a key driver for technology innovation. How can we leverage existing engineering simulation technologies to enable collaborations more effectively across teams and disciplines, across geographies, even across organizations so that a company could connect both their supply chain and their customer effectively? All with the overarching goal to reduce time to market while controlling costs and creating more advanced and effective products. Whilst ANSYS has been a partner in our customers' drive to meet this challenge for many years, supplying world-class engineering simulation technologies, along with teams of very talented engineers to support them. As Steve Pytel mentioned in an earlier session, we are now moving forward into a new phase of product design. What does that mean? It means that we need to improve our user interactions to a more unified, intuitive experience. That's key. Enabling real-time collaboration within and across our products is critical. Building out from our existing customer and market segments to reach new users and new applications by creating an open ecosystem of flexible simulation technologies is really exciting. However, cloud is the fundamental enabling technology to achieve the next phase of engineering simulation solutions and to create an ecosystem of possibilities. Cloud removes barriers and enables access to almost limitless compute resources and the scale and performance gains that result from the combination of the latest ANSYS technologies running on today's leading cloud platforms. It removes obstacles of location and geography, enabling utilization of simulation products anytime, anywhere and everywhere removes the overhead of fixed infrastructure and traditional deployment modes to enable flexible access to and leverage of proven engineering simulation technologies from practically anywhere on any device for students, engineers, scientists and professionals, enabling the creation of a true developer community. It enables ANSYS to develop an ecosystem that will deliver powerful simulation-based vertical solutions to some of industry's toughest challenges while retaining the power of choice when evaluating the different options for how the cloud can enable faster, more highly scalable engineering simulations. ANSYS cloud strategy has two arms, our go-to-market offers and a stack of cloud enabling technologies. The go-to market offers include CSP marketplace offers as well as managed offers. These are about ensuring that our flagship engineering technologies have access to unlimited compute power that cloud offers with an open ecosystem of partners to support our customers' choice. Our industrial customers currently use ANSYS solvers to resolve complex engineering challenges and our managed cloud offer already gives them enormous flexibility to manage compute resources and remove location-based constraints on their engineering workforce. By the end of the year, our CSP marketplace offers will enable our customers to use our core software products from any location on any hardware, giving our customers direct control over the management of their cloud resources while enabling them to maximize the use of our technology. You will hear from our partners, AWS and Microsoft later in this track. This represents an enormous step forward, but it is only the beginning of the cloud journey for ANSYS technology. ANSYS cloud native capabilities 
are about leveraging our core engineering technologies as the backbone of an ecosystem of applications and solutions, some of which we could only dream of even five years ago. The on-scale acquisition extends ANSYS cloud technology to include a cloud-native web-based user interface. This supports and accelerates the ANSYS existing platform-centric approach to creating a new class of simulation-based vertical applications. OnScale CEO Ian Campbell will talk to you about this in his session later in this track. Talk a little bit more about the cloud enablement technologies. There are two, two types. The first side um, are what we call simulation-based vertical solutions. Our ANSYS teams are already working on these. They combine the physics and technologies of multiple products in value-added workflows behind easy-to-use, intuitive user interfaces. They embed the knowledge and expertise gained over multiple decades by both our customers as well as our ANSYS teams and enable its use by non-experts from any location. Designers, key de design engineers, even maybe non-engineers or less experienced engineers, analysts who are using new physics, all of these types of users can access the sophisticated technologies embedded within ANSYS products without the need to be an expert in any of them. We are also creating flexible, accessible, remote access to the core capabilities of our ANSYS solvers, allowing tech engineers and scientists to leverage those capabilities to create solutions or applications that will solve problems they have identified using Python, or other open source tool sets. You will hear more detail on these capabilities from our developer ecosystem team later in this session. So what's the real story? The story is that customers' needs are varied and to succeed, our cloud strategy must give customers the flexibility to adapt the use of cloud to their unique simulation challenges. ANSYS Cloud Strategy addresses the needs of not only our existing industrial customers, but any engineer, scientist or professional who can benefit from simulation technology. Our enterprise customers who've already invested heavily in simulation or even startups seeking flexible, scalable purchasing. ANSYS provides organisations of all sizes with flexibility to leverage the cloud in ways that create maximum value for their teams. We are creating the next engineering simulation paradigm, one of endless possibility. Thank you.